Let's try to solve this problem. Simplify the following. So let's start with 1. x cubed over y to the 4th quantity raised to the 5th power. So we can apply here the power of a quotient law of exponent wherein if we have x over y raised to m, we can distribute the exponent m to both the numerator and denominator. So it's equal to x to the m over y to the m. So applying this law of exponent in the problem, let's distribute the exponent 5 on the numerator and denominator. So we will have x cubed raised to the 5th over y to the 4th raised to the 5th. And then after this, we can apply the power to power law of exponent wherein if we have x raised to m raised to n, we can just copy the base x and multiply the exponents m and n. So we have x raised to m n. So for the numerator, copy the base x and multiply the exponents 5 times 3, that's 15. Over, for the denominator, copy the base y and multiply the exponents 4 times 5 or 20. So the final answer is x raised to 15 over y raised to 20. For number 2, we have 2 cubed over 3 squared quantity raised to the second power. So again, applying Power of a quotient law, let's distribute the exponent 2 to the numerator and denominator. So we will have 2 cubed raised to the second power over 3 squared raised to the second power. So we can apply power to power law. So we can have 2 raised to the product of the exponents 3 and 2, 3 times 2, that's 6, over the base 3 raised to the product of the exponents 2 times 2 or 4. If we simplify this further, 2 to the 6 means 6 factors of the base 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And for the 3 to the 4th, this means 4 factors of the base 3. So we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So 6 factors of 2, it's equal to 64 over 4 factors of 3, it's equal to 81. So the final answer is 64 over 81. For number 3, we have 2x to the 4th over 5x squared quantity raised to the 3rd power. So we can have two solutions for this. So the first solution, we can apply first the division law of exponent and then apply the power to power law. Or the second solution is we can distribute first the exponent 3 to numerator and denominator and then apply the division law of exponent. So let's try to use the second method. So I will distribute first the exponent on the numerator and denominator. So we will have 2x to the 4th raised to the 3rd over 5x squared raised to the 3rd. And then we can distribute the exponent. So 2 cubed times x to the 4th cubed over distributing also the exponent in the denominator we will have 5 cubed x squared raised to the third so 2 cubed means 3 factors of the base 2 or 2 times 2 times 2 or 8 then we have x raised to 4 times 3 that's 12 over 5 cubed means 3 factors of the base 5 so that's 5 times 5 times 5 or 125 and x squared cubed, it is equal to x raised to 2 times 3 or 6. So we cannot simplify it over 125 anymore. So let's just copy it. And then to simplify x to the 12 over x to the 6, we can apply the division law of exponent. x to the m over x to the n equal to x raised to m minus n. So we just copy the base x and Subtract the exponent, so we will have x raised to 12 minus 6, or 12 minus 6, that's equal to 6. So the final answer is 8 over 125 x to the 6. For number 4, we have x to the negative 2, y to the 8, c to the 4th, over x to the negative 5, y cubed, c to the negative 3, quantity raised to the second power. So let's distribute first the exponent on the numerator and denominator, so we will have x to the negative 2, y to the 8, z to the 4th, quantity squared, over x to the negative 5, y cubed, z to the negative 3, quantity squared. Then, we can distribute the exponent on every factor. So, we will have x raised to negative 2 squared, y to the 8 squared, z to the 4th squared, 
Also in the denominator, distribute the exponent to. So we will have x to the negative 5 squared, y cubed squared, then z to the negative 3 squared. Then, applying power to power law, let's multiply the exponents. For the numerator first, we have x raised to negative 2 times 2, negative 4. y raised to 8 times 2, that's 16. Then z raised to 4 times 2, that's 8. Over x raised to negative 5 times 2, that's negative 10. y raised to 3 times 2, that's 6. Then z raised to negative 3 times 2, that's negative 6. And then, we can apply the division law of exponent for the same base. So, for the base x, copy the base x and subtract the exponent. We have negative 4 minus negative 10. So, negative 4 minus negative 10, it's equal to positive 6. While for the base y, copy the base y, subtract the exponent. So, we have 16 minus 6 or equal to 10. Then lastly, for the same base z, copy the base z and subtract the exponents. We have 8 minus negative 6 or positive 14. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn to so try to solve this problem and just comment your answers.